Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and my job isn't hard enough. Sometimes I've got Todd making me laugh nonstop, but we are talking about the new season of 12 Monkeys. Make sure to check out these two. Dun, 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 dun. Check out the new season of 12 Monkeys, April 18th, 9 o'clock on Sci Fi. These two rock. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. All right, Emily Todd. So, what what were my rules of the game? Remind me again. You're the one who set up the rules. Yeah. I did set them up, so and they said, were have fun. And I hey. said, um, I never have fun having fun. I, know. I don't like when people are like have fun. Then I suddenly like have pressure. no fun at it's all. Like a total bu- it's like when you're out with friends and they're like, have, all right, just have fun. You're like, now I'm definitely yeah. not gonna yeah. have fun. Well, well, I have to yeah. do something. It's I like somebody like, be, just be funny. Just, just do something oh. entertaining. <laughs> Love your show. Can I tell you guys oh, that? Thanks. Watch it all weekend. Watch first episode of season two. I was asking. You're caught up. I am caught up. I want to know pretty much everything from season two and then I'm done with you oh, guys. Okay. So <laughs> we'll tell you just, everything. I can cut the two. cameras if you want. Forget the interview. Just mm-hmm. tell me and save me like the next 12 hours of my life. <laughs> Who the witnesses. You want to know yeah. everything. As yeah. like NBC Universal people are like flying in there like beating mm-hmm. us up. Mm-hmm. So congrats on season two. Thank where you, where yeah. do we see your characters go from here? Because you were everyone's left on cliffhanger. So I want to know where you go next. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jennifer, where we last see her is on the plane about to spread the virus. And then when we we pick her up. Um, um, she she's a kind of a very different Jennifer at that point. Um, she's been she's on the streets of New York and has the virus and hasn't spread it. Am I allowed to say? Well, she hasn't. You're yet. asking no. me. <laughs> You're allowed to. Say, if it's up to me, you say whatever no, you want. No, you know what's so hard about talking about this show? Yeah, like it's, it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. It's impossible to Especially talk. Especially when there's like snipers yeah. from NBCU. But I'm pretty sure there They're would like be little, the, on the little lights on you right yeah. now. I mean, there would be no show if the virus had been spread no. right then. Right then. So credit. Um, I like how you're rationalizing your spoiler. Yes, I like it. Yes. She but says. what's actually kind of fun <laughs> is we do have now a webisode out that kind of says a little bit of what might have happened in between that time between last season and this season, which I think is really that's good, fun. That's good. Um, you should check that out. That's um, the best justification for, for me giving a spoiler ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, I think this season, um, what we know about Jennifer is that she becomes old Jennifer, mm-hmm. this wise... We also knew that from first season. For, from first season, she becomes this wise older woman who has this army of badass warrior women called the Daughters. The daughters. And so how does young crazy Jennifer become this wise, Blossom still crazy, this, crazy yeah. older woman? And um, I think a lot of season two is that journey of like discovering who she is and her inner strength and um and crazy ensues mm-hmm. um yeah mm-hmm. and, and then there's deacon and then there's deacon where does what does happen deacon was left starts in a pretty tricky position yeah. <laughs> he starts a cooking yeah. show <laughs> he goes off to the food and he says screw the budget. time says, screw the time travel yeah. i'm going to go be the next mario Batali. Yeah. Yeah. so what happens with deacon he's left on quite a cliffhanger deacon uh well he you know he kind of let the blue man group into the facility <laughs> and he but i think if if you <laughs> careful eyed watchers will notice in season 13 of episode one he has a bit of a of, uh an awakening where he kind of goes oh crap i think i'm back in the wrong horse like he sort of he's like he's he's crazy but they're nuts like and he realizes <laughs> that that probably he should he should he should probably uh Kind of change alliances, um, so I think at the end of at the end and and season two picks up right at the end, uh, right after the end of season one, and I think Deacon suddenly finds himself going, okay, I have uh, I have other problems to solve, and and I think these the the messengers are probably uh, not going to help, so he forms a bit of an unholy alliance with. Uh, with uh, Jones and um, and Rayleigh entering the picture certainly changes the e- equation because I think there's like a bleep 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 oh there's this uh, person who he remembers because uh, he was there before the fall when she was kind of out there telling the world it's coming to an end and so I think Deacon suddenly feels a connection to Rayleigh he feels 
uh, this woman who was not brought up through the uh, through the uh, apocalypse. She's very vulnerable, and so he sort of makes it his plan to help her learn how to be a survivor. Uh, yeah, really, to help him. Uh, hey, come on! I'm I'm uh, I'm not saying not that, that, that there are there like are benefits. Like, like, okay. You're doing. You just did it. You just did the universal hand gesture for. Does this ring fit? I don't think. <laughs> I've got nothing for that one. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen that done on camera before. I and I've done probably 10,000 like, interviews. Like you're in junior high. I love it. Sorry. It's like, I've never seen That was the greatest thing ever. Isn't it fantastic? I need a gift for that. Yeah, yeah, it will be. It will be. I've got nothing. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, because you don't just, you want to get jiggy with Rayleigh, I'm sure, because she's so pretty. You try to sanitize or, it. Or smart and badass and really pretty. But, uh, yeah, so I think, obviously, Deacon, Deacon has a, has a, uh, has a, has a little. He has some other motives. He has a space in his <laughs> shrinking Grinch heart for, for Rayleigh. <laughs> I can't wait to use that at some point when talking oh, about sex. I am. I've never seen that before. He's not even in elementary before. school. Not even in like. That's the point. I've, never, <laughs> I've done this like I, more times than I can ever imagine, and I'm like, I've never seen anyone do this on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even go on. Just drop the mic. You know what my favorite thing? As Kobe would say, "Mamba out." <laughs> By the way, Kobe dropped six yes, but oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh yeah, no. I was just gonna say there's. Were this, we, did oh, we wait, have a? Were we? Was there a direction? No, there no, no. Well, I, I had one. I had yeah, one over here, but I failed. I heard. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still visualizing. Yeah. <laughs> the fans love this show, yeah. and if you drop that, they'll love it even well, more. <laughs> I just feel like that. Well, I mean, I'm she sure Jennifer's dropped that. Yeah. I mean, but you know what is great about the fans though that they know more about this show than we do or like you have to keep on top of it um because they will call you out on stuff like even on twitter somebody did you see that somebody put um a shot a screenshot somebody left their cell phone in 2044 and they're like is there really cell phones in 2044 but there, well, there's time machines why wouldn't there be cell phones well it was like an I mean, iphone probably, but they might be left over something. somebody did call out there's a moment not to give too much away uh there's a moment where uh where Deacon kind of gets Cassie to do her first like big violent act and she's holding a knife and she has stabbed somebody and somebody on Twitter called out the fact that when she stabs it, when she pulls it out in the frame, she's holding it differently. Oh. They've already pointed they out. Check, they figured out continuity yeah. issues. Yeah. They've all Yo, that's crazy. On, on continuity issues, yeah. That person needs a life. I mean, it's great to have fans <laughs> like that, but that's, I, look, if they're that's watching crazy. And, attention yeah. and want to tweet about it. Well, it is, it is such an honor a bit. Like when we went to Comic-Con, there was a girl dressed as Jennifer, and not only like totally detailed dressed like Jennifer, but did all Jennifer's drawings from this one episode, like complete, yeah. did all these little animal it drawings. It was like, spent some time on that. Yeah. I like to think they were cosplaying as me because they were wearing Star Wars t-shirts. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I just assume that they're dressed as me. Not, not as Deacon, but as me. I would have so much trouble. Like, I think that is the coolest thing to have fans like that. I would be so frightened though when I hear stuff like that. But I no, think it's the coolest thing. It's gotta be so cool. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh, I got really excited. I mean, it was. She leapt up. I did. And she I pointed. did. I did so leap cool. up and pointed. Social media. I was like, my, when I was uh, like watching stuff on social media and prepared, like just seeing the reaction for everybody getting excited for season two. What's been like the coolest social media reaction you guys have gotten? <gasps> Oh, well, I mean, because they released the um, first episode, first episode yeah. and that was kind of great. Like, kind of great. seeing the reaction to that, um, that people were already, like, the, the fans who wanted it were, blown, like, their minds were blown. Well, and what's, like wanted... What's fascinating is that we, we go up into Toronto for five months, and we, we kind of hide You're in a hole. little room. You're in the hole. And, and then somehow that this stuff gets blasted out into the stratosphere, and then you show up at Comic-Con, and there's a thousand people waiting to hear what you have to say about the show. And then you go on Twitter, and people are talking about it on a daily basis. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of... And then a, a lot of people are watching it on Hulu, and you go, "Oh, I guess we're actually 
making something that people That's are That's what's enjoying. been great, seeing people now just discover it. Um, so it's like two be- Facebook pages dedicated to yeah. it. Yeah. So cool. Right. But because I think because season two is airing there now, um, they did a marathon on sci-fi of season one, and it's on Hulu to get people caught up. Mm-hmm. And um, and seeing just daily new, new pe- fans just suddenly get doing wife. drawings of people the characters yeah. they they, they uh, we, we had a dub smash challenge i put out there and so people are doing 12 monkeys themed dub smashes <laughs> but a lot awesome. of the press has been like this is the show you the are show criminal- you're not, you're not you're watching, not watching. i don't know if you saw it. the new york times actually just said that they had an article on you guys either today or yesterday which Ooh, was huh. something along the lines of i think it was titled and this is how crazy i am with memory they're like um it's complicated, but it's great, essentially. Right. Yeah. Do you find yourself, and I was asking the other part of the cast uh, this same question, do you find yourself being a fan? Like, shows like this where there's a gajillion things going on, I would be, it's so easy to get lost in it as a fan, even when you're in the show. Do you find yourself getting lost as a fan? Um, I initially am, was not, and am not a fan of, like, time travel stuff that wasn't my my thing but in this show for some reason it is and not because honestly not because I'm on it we they screened the last two episodes for us and it Ooh. just blew my mind and like uh, I get involved because of the characters I lose myself in these epic relationships and I think epic because of time travel so that's my gateway into time travel yours is the traditional nerd yeah, route. yeah I mean I yeah I, but I would say, yeah, I, I mean, I would watch the, I would watch this. I, I took the geek train. I would watch this show, and it goes through a tunnel. Yeah. Um, I took the geek train. Um, <laughs> I'm a tunnel. Did you catch it? Yeah. Tunnel. You didn't catch it. I got it. I got it. I was like waiting to see your reaction. I got it. That's a, you, do you realize you're going to be like on set in season four, and he's going to be like, choo 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 choo. And my- um, that's what we're going to use the, the term geek train to mean that's our euphemism. <laughs> but, uh, I would, uh, I would watch this show even if I wasn't on it, uh, because the writing is so smart and the characters mm-hmm. are so compelling. What I, we were just talking out, out there about what's really wild about this show, unlike a lot of shows is there's sometimes it's a horror show. There's sometimes it's a science fiction show. There's sometimes it's just a straight up action show. It's a mystery. It's conspiracy. It's a relationship. It's a love story. It's like so true. And, and they they fun, they yeah. kind of spin all these plates sim- seamlessly and and then beautifully shot. Like our yeah. our we just uh, the Canadian they just won a cinematography award for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, the production value on the show is so top notch. So bringing out those yeah. pennies on that show. Yeah. But you're right in to say that it is does have everything. Like I there's one episode that I can't watch because it's too scary. scary. Like it's really scary and. And then all the, that we do need is a, we need a musical episode. Which, because, well, we don't have that. 12 yet. Monkeys does that. Grease live. Yeah. Like, yeah. 12 yeah. Monkeys live. Yeah. It would be like Glee. You know. Yeah. But like, other than that, Cassandra. Really is everything. Yeah, we kind of tackle, we can kind of tackle. Jones. <laughs> He's already writing it. I love it. I'm, pitch, I'm pitching 12 yeah. Monkeys live to sci fi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Executive producer mm-hmm. Arthur Cade. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm Is getting that your real name? No, it's Caddishus. But who? How could you use that as a stage name? I'm like Arthur Caddishus. Arthur Caddishus, like radishes, but with a K. That's Arthur amazing. Kattishis. I'm Russian, so that's amazing. Yeah. So I know, man. you went with Arthur Cade? Like a like that's like well, soap that's a opera. Name. That's super. Yes, Arthur, Arthur Cade. Cade. By day. <laughs> Arthur Caddishes by night. Arthur Radishes by night. <laughs> radishes would be so much oh, better. Oh, so good. The radish would be a great superhero. Is that superhero. your that would be um, my super. Vegetable. That would be my superhero. I based vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop you with my bitterness. That's good. I can't. I want you guys to stay with me all day as I do red carpets. <laughs> just bring in some chips and dip. Oh. Yeah. I, I can't. I'm, my jaw hurts. That's good. <laughs> If you guys could travel to one period in time, because you're doing 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. You're the first person to ever ask us that. That's, there's no way. Wait, that's what? <laughs> um, um, okay, so, but it has to be, because I feel like I always waste the time machine on this question, because my first instinct would be, I, I want to go back to, like, riding my bike when I was eight, riding my bike to the pool, and, like, getting freezies. And, way, way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? But so that's a waste montage. of a time machine, isn't it? Because I could go to the, like, I think I'd do, like, 1910 and wear a corset and be, like, that woman. 
And I don't think I, they showered. I, I, yeah, yeah, that's the one thing you're just don't. It was pretty filthy time. Is, the, is the smell? Yeah. yeah, I was. I was like, I would like to go to Coney Island in like 1897. That would be mm. cool. Like at its heyday. I, uh, I would also like to see like the like the primordial soup. Like I'd like to see like prior to lungfish. Like what was this place before we messed it up? That would be kind of cool. That's got to be the coolest answer ever. I want to run with dinosaurs. I dig it. Pre dinosaurs. I'm talking like protozoan, like complex like proteins germs. in soup and going, oh, someday there's going to be a mall here, you know? You guys are awesome. That's all I'm going to say. Congratulations on Thank season you. two. I I think the show's really I'm terrific. I'm so glad you watch it. Yes, yeah. I binge watched it all weekend. That's so great. you ruined cool. you ruined my weekend. Uh, but you're welcome. It was a very good ruining. So, but congratulations. I'm really excited to see where cool. season two Thank goes. You. So congrats, guys.